think work with me to get apostates into your campus and then we can have a conversation about it. I mean, you know, it. It, they do... Work, work you know, students me, students work have debates all the time. It's just, you know, it's quite patronising to say that students don't have debates. They do. But speech is not speech anymore, that, and that's the problem. You know, We've had student unions tell us that we are offensive. We've had student unions cancel us because they say we're offensive. Every institution is all, quite different, All isn't because it, so. we talk about our abuse. We have young people who've been made homeless. We've made, had young people who've tried to kill themselves. We get told we're abusing religious institutions, not just Muslims, because we work with everyone, right? We've had people shut us down. We've had societies like feminist societies, LGBT societies even say we're worried about offending Muslims, right? I come from a Muslim background. I've spent 25 years of my life as a Muslim. And so when people tell me that I'm offending my own people, right, and so I'm not allowed to speak, I find that extremely unsafe for myself. But I don't go try to shut other people down for that. I'm a chair of Faith to Faithless. We work yeah. with anyone who's left religion. Now, we find at universities that it's all about power structure with safe spaces. We deal with safe spaces because people get punished in different countries for leaving Surely religion. If, if anyone needs a safe space, it's exactly. Muslim. Now, what <laughs> happens is because we are, have no power on campus, if you're an ex-Jehovah's Witness, if you're an ex-Christian, if you're an ex-Muslim, you have no power on campus, our safe space needs don't get heard. But we don't need that. All we need is a place where we can talk and express our views because we don't get to do that in other countries. Now, what's happening with safe spaces is I find a lot of things that religious groups in these university campuses say are offensive. They're offensive to me, they're offensive to my just the fact that I exist. However, I don't go try to shut them down. I want to have a debate. This big question for me is all about having that conversation. The fact that we have Trump, Trump supporters in this audience is a good thing because I can talk to them and I can say, hey, guy, listen, I don't really agree. This is why. You can only move forward if you can do that. Otherwise, you get the kind of fascism we're seeing today.